It was inspired by an article I read in Time Magazine, April 16, 1946. Such a device is known as the turbo encabulator. <laughs> it is used to measure unilateral current in phase detractors. <laughs> unfortunately, detractors. unfortunately, it was based on the poorly conceived principle of power generation by the modial interaction of magnetic reluctance oh, and capacitive directness. But I'm sure that you engineers realized that that negated the need for the relative motion of fluxes and stators. The motor don't turn. Now, as you can see, it uh, consists of a base plate of pre-fabulated dimulite. <laughs> so surmounted by a malleable semi-logarithmic casing in such a way that the two main spurving bearings are directly aligned with the metric band. <laughs> Earlier versions of the turbo encabulator had problems with internal position, but uh, this problem was resolved with the addition of six gyro-controlled anti-graphic marzal bands and attaching them to the multifacet facet. I neglected to tell you that the now, that this version of the turbo encabulator uses nanotechnology, and uh, some of these devices, like the spurting bearings and the metametric band, uh, are miniaturized, and they're located on this black thing that says 286 on it. In addition, along the top of the turbo encabulator are 47 magnificently spaced routing brushes that inject into the rotor slipstream a 5% solution of tetraiodide pentane, the specific viscosity of which is given by the formula P equals 2.5 C and to the seventh power. Wow. Uh, I'm sure you remember from your high school chemistry that C is Tremondelay's annular gradient coefficient. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, uh, and as just said, the diabetic the solution. Well, um, as you can see, the uh, turbo encabulator has reached a uh, high degree of perfection, and it's uh, already being used in the manufacture of notebook bearings. Uh, in conclusion, I'm going to pass down. Uh, some literature on the turbo encabulator. I think it's all the same, yes. And this will give you a little bit more. You can keep these keep, keep the souvenirs. Good job. Can you turn this one on? Uh, we could, we could. We could. I can't wait. I'm going to work on this and I'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs>